on ballots, Legislative Referendum 131 is described as an act to adopt the Born Alive Infant Protection Act, which is meant to ensure that doctors take all medical steps necessary to preserve an infant's life after being born. Proponents say this will ensure the protection of all life in Montana. However, opponents say the bill does not take viability into account and could prolong the suffering of a baby with no hope of survival. LR 131, the way that it's worded, is going to force um, physicians to intervene in cases that is not medically appropriate. Both federal and state law already establishes penalties for doctors who negligently or knowingly cause the death of a premature baby. However, Montana State Representative Matt Regeer, who carried LR 131, said Montana State's law does not go far enough, and he took issue with the question of who decides viability. We need to make it abundantly clear that here in Montana, the protection of all life is available. Regeer did not respond to calls for comment Tuesday on the referendum. Dr. Tim Mitchell is a Missoula-based maternal fetal medicine specialist who cares for people experiencing high-risk pregnancies, and his work can involve telling people with a wanted pregnancy that their baby may not survive past birth. And some patients, when they learn of these types of, um, of these findings, decide that they don't want to continue with the pregnancy. It would be too hard for them to carry a pregnancy to term knowing that, that their baby is going to die shortly after birth. There are other families, though, who want to carry that, that uh, fetus to term and, and to deliver a you know, a live born baby to be able to hold them and say goodbye. During a September rally in opposition to LR 131, Jen Banna of Missoula said while pregnant with her daughter Anna, doctors told her the child's brain hadn't fully developed and Anna would not survive for long. Banna opted to continue the pregnancy. The opportunity to snuggle and sing to her would not have been possible if she had been taken away immediately. Anna Louise would have died in a different room without me, robbing me of the opportunity of comforting and holding her during her short life. A proponent of LR-131, Montana State Representative Lola Sheldon Galloway of Great Falls, said, quote, The opposition is twisting this to not what the intent of this was. And if we are allowed to kill babies when they are still alive, our state is in a sick state of mind. For medical professionals who did not comply with LR-131, they could potentially face up to 20 years in prison and up to $50,000 in fines. In Missoula, Ashley Nurbovig, MTN News.